guys welcome to javai jasam and in this video we can talk about mnc interview questions that is very very important nowadays and uh, i have filtered from the lots of the companies interview so it's going to be very helpful for you if you are planning to switch as a 3 year experience to 5 year experience in between or maybe more than that also it's fine okay if you are fresher also you have to know about those things okay but i am targeting only 3 to 5 year experience as a java developers you can watch this video okay so let's start now so in core java what are the questions they are going to ask right now in the interview patterns i'm going to explain you okay the interview pattern is nowadays people are asking questions like with the core java what is the main difference between java 7 java 8 and java 11 okay they are targeting those questions like can you please tell me what is the differences between them or maybe they will ask directly questions from them like java 8 features or maybe java 11 features or java 7 features also so you have to be be a strong in that okay this particular sheet i will share with you in the video so you can download from that okay second question is explain the concept of final finally and finalize keyword this keyword is very very important and we are using this keyword in the exception handling okay so mark this point is very very important and this question is also very very important okay third question is how does the hash map work in java hash map questions sometimes they are asking internal hash map sometimes they are asking how it will work what happens when the numbers of the elements exceed in the capacity of the hash map okay that is very very important questions okay fourth question is what is the difference between double equal to and equals method in the java Bowser question Bowser interview may they have asked these questions okay and uh, so many people are faced those uh, interview and they are not able to at least give the clarity between double equal to or equals methods okay so you have to be very clear in that particular questions it's a filter questions from lots of the company i have collected from the tcs essentials cognizant take mahindra also some questions are available in that okay so those company important questions which they are asking in each and every interview i have collected those questions and i am going to deliver to you so guys you can remember those things for the interview in up upcoming interview okay fifth question is explain the java memory model and how garbage collection work okay that is the theory questions only but that is very very important question nowadays people are asking okay describe the uh, violet keyword and what is the use of it okay in, in which case we are using the uh, volatile keyword okay so volatile keyword is very very important next is uh, seven question is what is the lambda expressions and how are they are using in the java lambda expressions very very important so before going to interview please prepare for that lambda expressions okay that is very important explain the concept of the functional interface can you provide some examples yeah uh, so recently one of my students he giving the interview so in that interview they have asked these questions what is functional interface okay and when we can use it tell with the example so he explained the functional interface but he not provided example for that so that is the mistake he have done okay Nine question is what is a stream in Java? A stream everyone know, but how do you use a stream API? What is the benefit in the real time they are asking? Okay, so you have to prepare for that. Ten number question is how does the optional class help to avoiding a null pointer exceptions? They are not asking how to use it. They are asking how it's helping to avoiding a null pointer exceptions. So that is also very very important questions. Okay next is concurrency explain the difference between synchronize and lock in java 
so concurrency if you talk about the concurrency it's very very important questions what is the synchronized keyword what is the synchronized block how we can create it how we can use it also and how locking will locking lock will use in that next question is what is the thread local local thread local in java and when would you use it what is the thread local so please prepare for that that is very very important and that is question is asked in the essential essential interview so definitely they will ask to you also okay discuss the difference between executor service this is the again multi threading questions and fork join pool and compatible futures this cons this concept is really very important if you are doing work in monolithic applications and they are uh, utilizing this feature also compatible future okay so prepare for that next question is how do you handle the thread safety in java thread safety it's a synchrony questions what is the thread safety and how we can handle in the java okay next question is what are the deadlock live lock and starvations how you can prevent them so deadlock live lock and starvation this is the theory questions but they will ask the practical also how we can do with the multi threading okay so for the java developer it's going to be very hard nowadays questions so i will suggest you go with that questions it's very very important next question is what is the difference between array list and linked list you can easily tell but they are asking internally what is the difference between them next question is how does has set maintain uniqueness internally how he maintaining the uniqueness so indirectly they are asking how has map is working okay so those you have to focus it and you have to understand internally also how has map will handle next is uh, three questions what is the difference between comparator and comparable previously also it's a very important questions now it is also people are asking okay next question is explain the difference between concurrent hash map and hash table that is also very important questions i hope i have already explained those things okay next question is exception handling how do you create a custom exception in java it's very easy just uh, imp uh, just extend the custom exceptions just extend the exception class and you can create your own custom exceptions so that is easy but they are asking next question is what is the difference between checked and unchecked exception that is also very popular questions and they are asking now it is next question is design patterns okay so through the design pattern also they are asking some questions i will explain you explain explain the singleton design pattern so mainly in the service based company they are asking singleton design pattern and how would you implement it in a multi thread environment how we can handle with the multi thread environment okay so that is for little bit tough situations when you can use it next is describe the factory and abstract factory patterns so factory design pattern abstract factory patterns when we do use it i have already created dedicated video for the design pattern so please go and check out my playlist i have put it all those video related to that design patterns okay next question is what is the strategy patterns and how does it is different from the uh, state patterns so this is the strategy design patterns and how does it's different from state patterns state patterns or design patterns what is the difference between them they are asking okay so this is the collected questions which is very very important and multiple mnc company they are asking this repeated questions every time okay so i thought let's go with that questions and explain to our viewer who is watching my channel so they will also aware about those things and they will prepared for that so that they will not miss any interview okay if you like this video so please like and consider subscribe my channels thank you so much if you have any doubt please ping in the comment i will definitely help you in okay thank you so much